Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. In this lesson, we will be focusing on equations that involve the distributive property. We're going to take a look at example number 2, which says 2x minus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3 plus 4 equals 33. Now this looks like a very long equation to solve. However, we're going to simplify this before we actually start to solve it. So the first thing that we need to notice is that this equation involves the distributive property. And the way that you know that is you see the parentheses with a quantity inside of the parentheses. So this part right here from the minus 3 so right here is the distributive property that we need to complete first. You always take the sign in front of the number that you're multiplying, that you're distributing, so that you don't lose a sign in the process. So I'm going to start on the left-hand side of the equation. I'm going to bring down the 2x just so that I don't forget about it. And then, since I notice I have the distributive property, I need to distribute. So I'm going to distribute a negative 3 throughout the parentheses. So I'm going to start with negative 3 times 2x, and that gives me a negative 6x. And then I'm going to take the negative 3, and I'm going to distribute it to, now this is tricky, a negative 3. We need to make sure that we don't lose our sign. So negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Now, in my opinion, that's the easiest way to think of the distribution. You could also have done minus, brought this minus down, and then negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. But then you have a lot of signs to contend with, and think about what's the opposite of negative 9, positive 9. So it's easier just to take the signs with each number and multiply them. So, now we have 2x minus 6x plus 9. And then on the left-hand side, this is not included in the distributive property, the plus 4. And then on the right-hand side, we have equals 33. So in step 1, all I've done is take the negative 3 and distribute it throughout the parentheses. Now what I need to do is take a look at this left-hand side of the equation, and I need to simplify it even farther because I have like terms. By like terms, I mean we have 2x and minus 6x. Since both of these terms have the variable x, I can combine them. Think of 2 minus 6, which is also the same as 2x plus negative 6x. That's actually negative 4x. So I can combine those two terms to negative 4x. I can also combine my two constants. I have positive 9 plus 4, which is plus 13. And on the right-hand side, I still have equals 33. So in this step, all I've done is combine my like terms. I have not started solving the equation yet. Now, if you take a look at this equation, negative 4x plus 13 equals 33, this is a two-step equation, the same type of equations that you learned to solve in the last lesson on algebraclass.com. So my next job is going to be to get rid of this constant plus 13 as I start to isolate the variable and get the variable by itself. So I'm going to bring down this side of the equation, negative 4x plus 13, and I'm going to stop here and say, what do I need to do to get rid of plus 13? Well, the opposite operation is subtract. So I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 13 from the left, and I'm also going to subtract 13 from the right-hand side. Now, as I go back to the left-hand side, I know that 13 minus 13 is 0 and I'm left with negative 4x, and on the right-hand side, I have 33 minus 13, which is going to give me 20. Now I'm down to a one-step equation. I have negative 4x, which means negative 4 times x. The opposite of multiply is divide, 
So I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient, which is negative 4. And that means that I am now left with the variable x, because negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, and 1 times x is x. And on the right-hand side, I have 20 divided by negative 4, which is negative 5. So I end up with a final answer of x equals negative 5. And you can go back and substitute negative 5 for x in both spots. Here we'd have to do 2 times negative 5, and again, 2 times negative 5, in order to check the answer. And this concludes example number 2.